Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to solve problem 11 of chapter 9. Locate the centroid x bar and y bar of the area shown. So the equation for the centroid of an area, x bar is x tilde dA over dA. And for y bar is y tilde dA over dA. So x tilde and y tilde are the centroid of my differential element. So I need to select my differential element. I'm going to find a centroid of an area. So my differential element has to be an area. I'm going to select this rectangle for, as my differential element. So my first task is to find a centroid of this rectangle. The centroid of a rectangle is its center. So x tilde and y tilde would give me the location of the center of this rectangle. The x value would be simply x, and y tilde would be half of y. Because this line is described by y, and then the center is halfway from 0 to the top. So that would be y over 2. The second task that I have is to find the area of this differential element. The width is dx, and the height would be y. So the area of a rectangle is height times width y dx. Now that I have the area and x tilde and y tilde, I can go to my equations and solve for x bar and y bar. According to the equation, x bar is x tilde dA over dA. x tilde is x dA is y dx, x is changing from 0 to b, similarly here, y dx. Because y is function of x, I need to replace it with the equation for y. Here the equation is given h over b squared times x squared. So I will replace it h over b squared x squared, I have another x here, so that would be x cubed dx. And here, I have h, b squared, x squared dx. It's a polynomial, so the integration would be very simple. h, b squared, x cubed would be x to the fourth over 4. This is ranging from 0 to b. I plug in the b value minus 0. I plug in the 0 value h b squared x cubed over 3 again 0 to b if i find simplify that x bar would be simply 3 fourths of a b i do the same thing for y bar y tilde da over da i have the value for y tilde would be half of y and I have the value for dA, which is y dx. The denominator is the same as for y bar and x bar. The denominator would be hb3. That's the value that we will find here. So I just expand the numerator. So I have half comes out of integration. I have y squared, so h squared b to the fourth x to the fourth dx after integration these are constant value remember we have one over two here as well x to the fifth over five the range is zero to b and then at the end y bar would be three over ten h so our centroid x bar and y bar will be 3 fourths of a b and 3 tenths of h.